Okay, so we're going to be going over your first strike for your orange belt. Okay, uh, your first strike is broken up into your stances, blocks, strikes, and kicks. Okay, so your very first stance is going to be equal to that. So around the center here in the beginning. So go back to your regular, just relax. Okay, and take your left leg and step forward. Good. Okay, so have your hands ready. So you want to try to have your knees over your toes. So basically, if this left knee was collapsed, this would be bad. We want this aligned with our feet, right? And then you kind of want to get this feeling of almost like stretching this knee out forward, stretching this knee out toward this direction of the toes. So you're kind of like opening up your thighs a little bit. Now the other thing is, you want to make sure that your back is flat and that your butt's tucked in. So if he's sticking out his butt, right, go ahead and stick out your bum. Right, it's kind of leaning forward, this is bad. So we want to have it connected. We're gonna have these hips opened up. And then from here, go ahead and turn to the side. Um, if his hips are, notice that they're flat right now, what we're actually gonna do is adjust the pelvis so it tips toward the back foot. So we got this to the side, make sure this is at a 90. Very good, very good. He's forward right here. Good. So when he steps forward, he's actually gonna be Step it forward just like this, and go. Good, and then step backwards again. Good, and relax. Okay, so when you're here, and you step forward, you kind of want to get this feeling of squeezing everything together, right? Drive forward, notice that my shoulder level is still the same height, it's still compressed. I take my right leg to step forward, and I'm gonna push forward and open up my hips. But again, as you can see, by my belt, my hips are slanted, right? So this is Koko Tadach. Okay, so let's go back. So if he's right here, okay, let's go into your back stance, go. Step forward, good, and when we switch, there you go, just switch to place. And when you wanna move with your stance, which is what we'll help you guys do later on, just here. And then just make sure that you can feel pressure into the ground, okay? Your next stance is actually really easy. We kinda went over it a little bit in your yellow belt. This is uh, Yoko Kibadach, um, like a sideways four stance, or Yoko Kamai Kibadach, um, basically a sideways fighting stance here, okay? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take his left leg, he's gonna step forward, almost into like a sideways four stance. Good, so both toes are pointing this direction, very good. Everything is going this direction, everything. Knees are going this direction, knees are over the toes, um, butt's tucked in, chest in this direction. The only thing I stand is just his head's going toward you. He's got his back straight, his butt is tucked in, but not over tucked, right? So pretty much if I were to take a two by four, I'd be able to have it flush against his head, back, and tailbone, okay? And then when he switches, there's switch. Now when you switch, relax, you kind of want to have this idea of like you got a pole in your head, going into your head, from the ceiling into the head and out your body, and you have to move around that pole. So if I'm moving like this, that would be really hard if this pole was stuck into the ground and into the ceiling. I wouldn't be able to move, right? So I'd have to move around my spine. So try to get used to that type of feeling, being able to move around your spine. Okay, so those are your stances.